Chapter 220 Turns out they were demonic path scoundrels. Important news? The Bai clan chief frowned. What could be more important than the primeval spring? If it's not an emergency, tell them to wait outside. She said, looking right back at the smoke screen, on which the images flickered, displaying what was happening inside the cave. Fang Yuan and the team walked in and very quickly reached the end. The cave was not big, to the Bai clan chief's disappointment. There was no way the primeval spring would be in a place like this. Looks like finding the primeval spring is going to take more time. She swung her sleeves and retrieved the smoke, then turned to the outside. Call them in. The tent flap was opened, a fierce and vigorous investigative goo master walked in and bowed. Your subordinate greets the clan chief. I have important news to report. His voice sounded troubled. So, you captured a Thai clan goo master? The Bai clan chief slightly frowned. The Thai clan was a huge power which not even ten of Bai clans could match. Not handling this properly could lead to real troubles. Inside, she was condemning the subordinate standing in front of her. A Thai clan goo master, this kind of hot potato, should have been killed right away out in the woods. Bringing him back to camp was a mistake. After your subordinate received the mission, while looking for the Guyu's clan survivor main team's direction, I accidentally found a heavily wounded Goo Master. At first, I was suspicious he might be a member of the Guyu's clan, but once I healed him, he said he was a Thai clan Goo Master. Not to mention, from his mouth I heard shocking news. The three clans on Ching Mao Mountain were all wiped out but there was a mysterious demonic path goo master who managed to escape. It was to chase after these demons that the Thai clan sent out their team. What did you say? The Bai clan chief's face twitched. Her heart jumped. She frowned. Images of Fan Yuan and Bai Ning Bing's faces and mannerism flashed in her mind. Could those two be demonic path goo masters? Thinking of how Fang Yuan shed tears during their dinner feast, she found the prospect unlikely. How can you be sure this person is a Thai clan? On his person, I found the Thai clan iron card. The goo bugs he had were also typical of the Thai clan. The investigative goo master said as he handed over an iron card. The Bai clan chief took the card. It was cool to the touch, undoubtedly Thai clans. But it could also be that this person killed a Thai clan goo master and took the card. This person may be trying to mislead us. He might just be the very demonic path goo master the Thai clan is chasing. The Bai clan chief thought of a possibility. It was not uncommon for demonic path goo master to lie about their identity, especially when their life was on the line. But no matter what, she would have to confirm it. Bring that captive here. Soon, the tent was opened and a goo master was brought in. Tai Dao Ku was a mess, his face pale as paper. Kneel down! A goo master behind kicked his knees, and the Thai clan youngster was made to kneel. He struggled, trying to get up. Stay still! Two goo masters behind him each lent a hand to keep him down. Tai Dao Ku resisted to no avail, shouting. I, Tai Dao Ku, first bow down. I, Tai Dao Ku, first bow down to heaven. Second, I bow down to my parents. Third, I bow to our clan chief. Humiliate me, and you shall be dead. Oh, good acting. The Bai clan chief raised her eyebrows, sneered. Speak. How did you, a demonic path goo master, kill the Thai clan personnel and take this card? Baffled, Tai Dao Ku was stunned for a moment, before spitting bloody phlegm at the Bai clan chief. I spit! I am Tai Dao Ku of the Thai clan. My names will never change. Now you have captured me, you can do to me whatever you please, but to try to frame me for this is just ridiculous. 
The bloody spit looked like it hit an invisible wall in midair and fell straight down to the ground, not hitting the Bai Clan chief, but she got the gesture. Tai Daoku laughed coldly. Our Tai Clan is best at tracking and investigation. Bai Clan, you captured me and humiliated me like this. Ha ha! Better make sure you chop my body into a million pieces, then pray that your doings won't be discovered, because once they do, ha ha, your Bai Clan shall face the wrath of our entire Tai Clan. You kept calling yourself a Tai Clan Goo Master, but I've seen lots of Tai Clan Goo Masters before. Under rank 5, they don't travel alone. Each one of them iron strong and filled with determination. Look at your sorry state. If you want to pass off as a Tai Clan, at least try to keep it believable. Tai Daoku's cold sneer froze. The Bai Clan chief's words had stirred up his most painful memory. To think that when they left Ching Mao Mountain, all nine of them were so excited. And now, he was the only one left, and a prisoner at that. Oh life. Thinking of how Tai Ao Tian died, Tai Daoku just felt so much regret and hatred intensifying his pain. Tai Ao Tian was the Tai Clan's fourth young master, who from a very early age had been placed with many high expectations due to his superb aptitude and patient personality. He was a strong contender for the position of clan chief, a hope of the Tai Clan's future. His rise had only just begun, yet in the talent he displayed, Tai Dao Ku could see hope for the future. However, when that massive explosion occurred, everything ended. It was all so sudden. Standing at the center, Tai Ao Tian didn't even have time to activate his defensive goo, and was blown to bits within a blink of an eye. The elite talent of a generation, the future star, died not knowing how, just like that. Not only Tai Ao Tian, the others were also affected. A few died in the explosion. Countless goo were destroyed. The two left alive were both heavily injured. Taiku Dao was one of them. He was at the back of the team, and his skin had long been turned into copper skin using goo bug. Those combined saved his life. The other survivor, though, had lost half his body, and within a teacup time, fell into a coma and died after many failed attempts of resuscitation. With teary eyes, Tai Daoku buried his clansmen. Originally, he wanted to give each of them their own plot, but to his horror, most were torn into pieces. The worst being Tai Ao Tian whose biggest piece left was his one hand. Tai Dao Ku built a mound over the grave, then cut a huge rock to mark the place. Next, he investigated the explosion site. With his experience, he figured out it was thundering potato goo. Over a hundred of them, all buried underground. Without a doubt, this was a cruel and extremely devious trap. Who would do such a wicked thing? Who set this trap? Tai Dao Ku thought about it hard, and felt that Fang and Bai were the most suspicious. Of course, he did not know their names or their exact intelligence, but he understood one thing, the culprit was likely to be the one they were chasing. Too despicable. Too vicious. Tai Dao Ku flew into a rage his hatred as deep as the sea. Revenge. He must get revenge. And bring this demonic path Goo Master to justice. Tai Daoku could no longer return to the Tai Clan. The death of the fourth young master would require an investigation, and blame would have to be assigned. Not to mention, he himself could not bear coming back empty-handed like this. Such was an insult to his character. He had to keep on with the chase. With Tai Ao Tian gone, his life had now turned to gray. He vowed to kill the demonic path Gu Master of Ching Mao Mountain, even if he were to fail, he wanted to give it his all. Revenge! Revenge! He shouted, he would not stop until he finished the nameless enemy. Unfortunately, reality was cruel. Without proper care, his wounds started to sour, and a few days later, he was burning with fever. Barely escaped from a beast pack attack, he eventually passed out. When he woke up, his wounds were healed, but he was also captured. In retrospect, it was a series of extremely painful events. Tears were flowing from his eyes. 
The Bai clan chief was stunned. Tai Daoku did not answer her questions, but the aura he gave off was not like that of someone who was lying. Is this person really from the Tai clan? The Bai clan chief started to feel something amiss. The bad feeling grasped her heart and quickly spread. She wanted to know more, but Tai Daoku had closed his eyes, not saying another word. She thought of something and said, Not long ago, our Bai clan took in two Guyu clan guests. They are two teenagers, one claiming to be the Guyu clan's young master. Before she could finish, Tai Daoku opened his eyes abruptly. His gloomy gaze was now beaming with hatred, anger, joy. He wanted to get up, but was pushed down again by the Gu masters standing behind him. It's them, it's definitely them. To think I will find them here. Two teenagers. They must be the demonic path Gu masters that escaped from Ching Mao Mountain. If you are a Tai clan Gu master, where are your teammates? Seeing a hope for revenge, Tai Daoku changed his tunes and answered truthfully. They're dead. Where did they die? Where are the bodies? I cannot tell you this. The dead shall rest in peace. Even if you suspect me, I will not allow you to dig up their graves. The Bai clan chief's heart sank after hearing this. These were not words a demonic path goo master would say. Don't tell me. She waved her sleeve, and a whiff of colorful smoke flew out and coiled in midair, forming a smoke screen. Your clan's young masters are in our hands. All of you get out now. In the hovering image, Fan Yuan had finally revealed himself to the Bai clan, gripping Bai Sheng and Bai Hua's throats as he threatened loudly. The Bai clan chieftain was dumbstruck. After a few breaths' time, she went purple with rage, slamming the table in front of her into pieces, screaming. Turns out they are demonic path scoundrels! If you enjoy listening to Reverend Insanity, please give the like button a tap. Chapter 221 Welcome to Baigu Mountain The Bai Clan chief's face was looking extremely worried. Now, she understood everything. She was hesitant at first, but after seeing the images in the color smoke, only an idiot would not understand what had happened. No ordinary person herself, the Bai Clan chief, in Fan Yuan's previous life, was the one who led the team handling the clan resettlement to Mount Bai Gu, setting up foundations for their clan's future success. Damn it! How could this happen? Those two scoundrels were actually demonic path goo masters. They are too good at acting. Clan chief, the two young masters' lives are in their hands. What do we do? The other goo masters panicked. Fang Yuan was holding the two young masters hostage, so they all must proceed with caution, especially the Bai clan chief herself. As Bai Hua, Bai Xing's mother, her worries were justifiably more than the others. However, as someone in power, she had to have strength. She was not only their mother, but also the clan chief. Her first order to the subordinates was to release Tai Dao Ku. We were wrong about you, Tai clan's warrior, and for that, I must apologize. She stood up and bowed, her face showed sincerity. Tai Dao Ku snorted. Though he was extremely displeased with the way he was treated, Tai Dao Ku found himself admiring the chieftain's composure. After all, he was only their prisoner, his life could have been decided by their mere words. Gritting his teeth, he tried to stand up, but failed as he was too weak, even such activity was too much for him. Come, help the Tai clan guest to his seat! The Bai clan chief ordered. Tai Dao Ku sat down, fixing his gaze on the images of Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing flashing on the colorful smoke screen. Are these two really the demonic path goo masters who escaped from Qing Mao Mountain? Are they the ones who set up the explosive trap? Could these youngsters be the ones responsible for young master Tai Ao Tian's death and my current sorry state? He etched their faces and statures into his mind. No. This could still be a misunderstanding. They could still might not be the one I'm seeking. 
Tai Daoku thought of another possibility. He was upright and would never kill an innocent. Regardless, I have to confirm it for myself. If they are not, then I shall go after the true criminals. But if they are, then I shall destroy these rascals' apertures and cut them into pieces. Thinking so, he said. By clan's chief, what matters most right now is capturing these two scoundrels and saving your clan's young masters. Thai clan warrior, what do you have to teach me? The Bai clan chief asked, hoping to get some useful information from Tai Dao Ku. But she was destined to be disappointed. Tai Dao Ku shook his head, smiling bitterly. Inside the cave, swords were drawn. All of you. Get out. Do you need me to say it again? Fang Zhang, what are you doing? What is going on? Why are you holding the two young masters hostage? Bai Lian, Bai Xin Jing and the others were utterly confused. One moment they thought he had found the primeval spring, who could have thought that Fang Yuan would suddenly go crazy and kidnap the two young masters. Three figures suddenly appeared. Fang Zheng, how dare you hold our clan's young masters hostage? Your crime is unforgivable. Release them, and we may spare you your life. Fang Zheng, release them now, and come back with us. We will allow you to walk away safely. Each of the three elders spoke, their expressions extremely ugly. They were the high rank elders assigned specifically to protect this group and were the first ones to rush to the scene. You guys finally decided to show yourselves? Excellent! Fang Yuan snickered, Bai Sheng and Bai Hua struggled intensely in his hands. Evil scoundrel, release us! If you kill me, you will die too! The two children shouted with all their strength, their faces turning red, they were getting suffocated. Both of these two children would be rank 5 in the future, the top of the Bai clan, the twin stars of the righteous path. Unfortunately, right now, they were being strangled by Fan Yuan. Shortly, their eyes started rolling back. Their breathing slowed. Fan Sheng! Don't make a mistake! Release the two young masters now! We're giving you the chance! As long as you release the young masters, we will let you leave, and we'll swear to not go after you! What do you want? Primeval stones, goo bugs? The three clan elders were anxious, their eyes were beaming with violence, patiently waiting for their chance to strike. Is what I said not clear enough? All of you get out, if not... Fang Yuan grinned, eyeing by Ning Bing. She understood, and took out the coarse blade golden centipede. Bai Ning Bing poured her primeval essence into it, which got the blades moving roaringly, and moved it towards Bai Hua's arm. Let go of my sister, Lu, let go! Bai Sheng was giving Fang Yuan death stare, screaming and struggling with all his might. But as Fang Yuan increased the force, the words were swallowed back down his throat. Don't be rash! Stop, stop! By this point, there were more goo masters arriving at the cave, only to be horrified by the scene. Fang Yuan laughed loudly. On the count of three, if you are not all out of this cave, your young master's limb will be gone. Everyone gritted their teeth. Their eyes were burning with fire, they wanted nothing more than to chop Fang Yuan into pieces. Still not leaving? Fang Yuan raised his eyebrows and moved the centipede's moving blades closer to Bai Hua's arm. Everyone screamed. Quickly, get out of the cave! The clan elders shouted, not daring to gamble with their young master's lives. They retreated, giving Fang and Bai death stares on the way out. If looks could kill, Fang Yuan would have been dead a million times. If rage was like water, they would have been swallowed up by the tsunami. Once everybody was out of the cave, Fang Yuan passed Bai Hua and Bai Xing to Bai Ning Bing, and started looking into their surroundings. Bai Gu Mountain stones were all made of bone rock. There was no soil. This cave was no different, everywhere they looked was the same shade of white. There were bone spikes forming stalagmite and stalactite, 
although if one were to observe carefully, they might see that these bone spikes were spiraling at the tips. This was the spiral bone cave, also the entrance to the Grey Bone Scholar's inheritance. Though Baigu Mountain had many caves, this was the only one with so many spiral bone spikes. Fang Yuan had never been here, but in his previous life he had heard many stories which were even later confirmed to be true by Bai Sheng and Bai Hua themselves. We entered the spiral bone cave first, then accidentally found a bone spike that could be twisted. It was the mechanism to open the entrance. Fang Yuan thought, then started looking for that one special bone spike. In his previous life, Bai Hua had talked about that time that when she and her brother first discovered this cave, they found a bone spike bigger than any others, with spiral patterns covering all over it. She inadvertently twisted it and accidentally opened the entrance. Fang Zheng, you are surrounded. There is no way to escape. Come out. Calmly think about it. We showed you nothing but kindness to think you would pay with such treachery. Fang Zheng, I'll give you some advice. Leave some leeway for yourself. If anything happens to the young masters, we will take revenge on you with all our might. The cave was not deep, the shouts of the Gu masters could be heard echoing inside. Bai Hua started to sob. Fang Zheng, stop this. Release us and I will let you two leave in peace. This, I assure you is the clan young master. He was young, but was calmer than an adult facing this dangerous situation. The brilliance of the future star had already peaked out. Fang Yuan paid them no mind when suddenly his eyes brightened up. He stepped forward, reached for a particularly large spiral bone spike, and gently twisted it. After a few moments of clicking and creaking, the bone spike started to move back to reveal a neat-looking opening. Bai Ning Bing's eyes immediately brightened. Bai Hua had stopped crying, quietly observing the change. Ah! There's a cave! Hey! Keep your mouth shut! Bai Ning Bing did a knuckle chop on his neck, knocking him unconscious. However, his voice had already reached the people outside, which got them all riled up. Cave? Not good! They're trying to escape! Chase! If anyone dares to step inside, I will kill Bai Xing first! Fang Yuan's shout forced the Bai Clan Gu masters to hesitate. He then quickly went into the newly discovered cave. Bai Ning Bing, having already knocked Bai Hua out as well, carried both of the children and followed him into the cave. Their path was bright with soft cooling white light. There were also bone spikes growing from everywhere, sealing off the rest of the tunnel from Fang Yuan's vision but he could barely make out a hall. It seems this is the reason you came to Baigu Mountain. I'll open a path for us. Bai Ning Bing moved forward, about to use the coarse blade golden centipede, but Fang Yuan stopped her. These bone spears are extremely tough. Don't rush. Fang Yuan looked around for what Bai Hua had said in his previous life. He found the shortest spiral bone spike and pulled it. Another sound of some mechanisms being activated, the cave behind them sealed up while the bone spears blocking the tunnel contracted back into the walls. Their path forward was now smooth and unobstructed. Fang Yuan laughed heartily, turned to Bai Ning Bing and said, Welcome to Bai Gu Mountain. Eyes beaming with light, Bai Ning Bing subconsciously looked back. The cave entrance behind her had been sealed off again so the Bai Clan Gu masters would need to spend quite some time catching up with them. Her lips curled, her smile was filled with excitement. Life had become interesting again, just the way she liked. <laughs>